Hey guys, welcome back to an architecture tour of Half-Life 2. I am Simon and we are leaving the mines from Ravenholm. And we come out seemingly back into City 17, or the outskirts of City 17. <laughs> I mean, we got the we're back in the train tracks and the apartment buildings and various things. It's kind of strange though because Ravenholm is, I guess, behind these hills. A road. Yeah, I, I didn't mention this before, but there didn't seem to be any roads leading into or out of Ravenholm, which is kind of strange. But you know, it, it's a horror setting, so I guess. But this. Mineshaft doesn't. You know, you gotta wonder why it would lead to this place. That, like, there's no facility for processing whatever it is you mine or anything like that. There's no facilities for loading things onto trains, it's just a, an exit. And, um, if I can do this properly, I guess not. There's some stuff up there. Loot. Which I don't need at all. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, a slightly abrupt transition, but I guess not as abrupt as it would have been if we just came straight from Ravenholm to this. And it's daytime again. So apparently, a lot of time has passed in that mine, even though you would remember that we only spent like 10 minutes in there. And that was taking it slowly. Uh, okay, so the train track is completely blocked. There's like a civilian guy. Hmm. I wonder if this is meant to be part of the Underground Railroad. It doesn't seem like it, because we weren't supposed to come through Ravenholm for that. And anyway, the railroad I think is supposed to stop at Black Mesa East anyway. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it is. It would make more sense if it is. If it is. How about no? No zombie. Bad zombie. get introduced to snipers. Yeah, so that demonstrates how they work. I mean, having that is slightly strange. It's it's quite long for a a building bridge or like a, you know, a, a bridge over stuff. You would more expect, you know, road bridges and then just having two buildings on either side. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure why a sniper would be watching a train track. Because, you know, usually trains go on train tracks and you can't snipe a train, really. Grenades? In case you need a hint as to what we're supposed to do. I usually fail at this a few times. Let's see if this works. Oh, nice. Got it. Pwned. So that's what you meant to do with the snipers. I guess this section mostly is to introduce you to snipers and also give you a few challenges to take them out. And to, you know, teach you to stay undercover and all that. I don't need any of that, do I? Nope. 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 Uh... Okay, 
If I remember right, the sniper will shoot the barrels and make them explode on you. Wow. Okay. Um, not much to say about about the architecture. I mean, you notice this theme of being in like a ditch or a channel a lot in this game. Remember, we were in the sewers, and then we were in the river, and now we're in the train tracks, and it's all this same theme of being in this ditch. And it makes a lot of sense uh, gameplay-wise, because, you know, it's fairly obvious where you should be going. Like, there's no branching paths or anything, there's only one way to go. So it's good for gameplay. And also it makes it so that, you know, if you can't see over the sides, then the people designing the levels don't have to design a lot of stuff on either side. And it's easy to forget when playing a lot of modern games that this game was made back in a time when, you know, people didn't really know how to have big landscapes in computer games. Like, you know, being able to look out in the distance, that wasn't really done very well back at this stage. And, it, you know, it's not easy to... In terms of, like, programming and then game engine design. It's not easy to have big landscapes back then. In fact a lot of game was a lot of games were mostly interior. Because you know there's you know you don't have to model the whole landscape or render the whole landscape and all that. So you know this is I guess you can count this as a kind of interior for those purposes. Trains. I don't know how they got derailed that bad. Enemies. Also introduced to the fact that the zombies and the combat aren't working together. That failed. I should have done better than that. Yeah, so the the zombies are attacking the combine and vice versa. I don't know what the combine are doing here though. I guess they're waiting for me, maybe. Waiting for other resistance people. A new gun. More powerful than the SMG, but the ammunition is less common. Nothing up here. More industrial bits. That's interesting. That almost look like looks like a complete factory over there. Or like a refinery of some sort. I think at this point this gun would be best. 